So first up, what is your name? What do you do? And where are you from? Uh, my name is Bill Geddes. Uh, I was originally a musician, music teacher. Um, since retirement, I've kind of just become an advocate for the arts in many fields. Uh, I'm from Woodbury, and uh, I'm probably my biggest uh, thing that I've been involved in over the last 15 years has been the Woodbury Bethlehem Community Music Foundation. I'm the founder, and I serve as the president now. Beautiful. And so you are a Connecticut arts hero. What does this award mean to you? Well, first, I'm very humbled and honored to receive this award. Uh, and I'm hoping that this will allow me to increase my platform for increasing arts awareness and um, arts participation throughout our area, particularly. What impact do you hope that your work has in your community and the state as, as a whole? Well, the arts for me is much about having artistic experiences for a community, things that will allow a community to see how the arts can affect their lives in ways that they perhaps didn't notice before. Um, also, I'm hoping that we can increase opportunities for artists particularly um, and recognize the value of creativity across the board. Great. And, and on your journey, and even in this present time, who would you say inspires you? That's an interesting question. You know, I often think about how I ended up where I am along my journey and um, at at some point, I've looked back to my first experiences with music, particularly, and uh, I just was living in a community that had a very thriving music program, and my, at the age of 10, I was just inspired, and I think by the time I was 12 years old, I had picked out where I was going to go to college and what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Um, so those were some early uh, inspirations uh, I had a high school art teacher who was very inspirational to me in recognizing the interconnection of all the arts, particularly. Uh, and since that time, just a number of uh, experiences and, and colleagues that have shown me what arts uh, participation and arts education and so forth can do for humanity and, and how we how we function within our daily lives. Great. And what, what, in the midst of adversity, challenge, and maybe pushback, and just the longevity of your, of your life thus far, what, what keeps you going? Well, the, the thing that gets me up in the morning, which usually is earlier than I'd like it to be, is my mind is racing about some new project that I've dreamed up and I have to say, without the cooperation of my wife, who puts up with these, because I go on these binges of, well, what if we did this? What if we did that? How would this work? And so forth. And she will uh, listen, which you know sometimes is an incredible, valuable uh, commodity these days, is people who will just let you go and imagine what's possible. And through that, um, I've dreamed up some pretty amazing things. Uh, about five years ago, my wife and I both embarked upon uh, a unique experience that we were going to produce a musical. And um, if you know anything about me, it, it wasn't going to be uh, something simple. It would always be much too challenging. And so we spent the next year going through the production of Company by Stephen Sondheim. Uh, we kind of capped that off, inviting um, Stephen Sondheim to one of our performances. Uh, so I had this lovely 25-minute conversation with him, and it just brought to life the importance that I found that I was looking for, that somebody as 
important in the, the field that he was in felt the same way about so many things that I did, uh, particularly the value of education. Beautiful. And uh, lastly, what is your hope for arts in Connecticut? Well, again, I, I hope that we can increase the kinds of experiences uh, that we have, particularly in more of the rural areas. I know that you know if you were to come into Waterbury or Stamford or Bridgeport and New Haven, there may be a lot of opportunities for concerts and so forth. And what I what I hope is that we can expand those opportunities in the small towns because. You know, people who think that the only thing that will satisfy your desire is tickets to see Taylor Swift at a gazillion dollars, where you could see somebody just as talented in a local singer-songwriter circle or whatever, and, and be far more impactful to you. Uh, also, I, you know, I have several artists that um, I know would love to see opportunities for their work to be seen by a wider audience. So, you know, one of my goals is to build upon some of these things that have happened over my experiences the last few years, is to be able to build an artistic performance space in our community that would serve musical performances, theater performances, art installations, so forth, just a, a complete art, art, artist resource for a community. That's what I'm hoping.